Hi and welcome back to this free cyber panel tutorial for beginners. So in the last video I did deploy a server and in this video if you're using Windows let's see how you can log into your server using party. So party is what you're going to use to SSH into your server and then set it up. Everything you're going to do on your server you're going to use party. Let's go to Google and we're going to search for party. Just Google party. And just click here, download party from party.org. And we want to download party. So I will click here where it says download party and make sure you're downloading it. You're downloading it from this website. And I'm going to choose this because this has everything we need. And we need party and we also need party gen. So party gen is what you're going to use. This one here, party gen is what you're going to use to generate SSH keys in there upcoming videos so let's download this i will save let me open the location where it was downloaded and this is where it was i can just double click on it i know i already have a version installed and this is probably a much later version so let me run and see what's going to happen next so it's already installed on my computer but i'll just click on repair and then finish. All right, so we have party installed. So the next thing, let's see how we can log into the server. So I will go and open up party. Let me search for party. And I need my IP address. So coming back here, just click there to copy your IP address to log in via party. Here under hostname, put that and the port is default 22 and make sure that is SSH. And of course you want to save it so that you don't have to type in the IP address every single time. So let's just call this new windows. So once you give it a name, click here to save. And the next time if we close party and we come back and open party, we can just double click on it and it will, and it will open up our server for us. Okay, so it's telling us that this is a new server and we don't recognize it, but you know this is a, this is a server we've just created. So it can't be anything malicious. So I just click, I'll just click yes. And then login as root. For now, the only user we have is root. So we are going to log in as root. Enter. It's going to ask you for the root password. Then copy the password. And let's go back into party. Once you copy the password. Now, if you want to copy into, if you want to paste into party on Windows, I think normally since I can't see the password, I'll just do by trial and error and now I'm just going to click on the, the right on the right button of my mouse to see if that has pasted it in. Enter. And yes, so if you want to paste into party, you can paste in using you can paste in using the right click on your keyboard that will paste in and if you want to copy, just select everything and then left click that will copy and you can right click and it will and it will paste in the items in there. So in this video, you've seen how you can log into your server using party. So since we're on CentOS 8, let's just update it before we do anything else. So let's do yum. Let's do DNF update to make sure we update our server. So DNF update, this will update the server. It will check all it will check all the links to make sure that we don't we have updates and then it's going to download and and install the updates and if we add dash y this is going to ensure that it doesn't ask us if we want to actually install the updates this will bypass that and it will automatically install any updates which are there so let's just check if the updates okay so the update is complete so I don't like the font, it's too tiny and I'll have to zoom in. So 
I'm going to change the font for this just for demonstration to make demonstration easier for me and if I come here under appearance I can change the font and let me use this it looks like a nice font and I will use 16 font size of 16 click OK apply and this is much easier for demonstration purposes so that's pretty much it for this video in this video you've seen how you can log into your new server into your new server using party so the next step is for us to create a new user and we're going to do that in the next video we're going to create a new pseudo user and then we are going to set up ssh for that user so that they can only log in using ssh keys and we're going to do this using party and party gen so that's a good security feature and then we're going to disable root login and we're going to disable password login and that will be the end of this part with windows and then we can do a demonstration for linux so that's it for this video if you have any questions feel free to let me know i will see you in the in the next video